All right, come on, minions. Let's go. We've got lots to do. We've got to get all the rest of this wood chip off the back of my truck so I can actually uh, take my truck up the top so I can actually take it to work tomorrow. Um, we've got to weed out the asparagus patch and we've got to contain these chickens because they're going everywhere and getting into the garden. So we have a ton of stuff to do in a short amount of time. Yesterday it was raining and way too windy um, so we pretty much was an inside day some baking and some other stuff we done um, so yeah it was a bit of a lazy day but today we have a lot more stuff to do and uh, we have four weeks until we leave on holiday so it's getting a bit crazy we've got lots of gardens whoa we've got lots of gardens to um get ready because all the stuff in the greenhouse is going to come out and be planted in all of the gardens and I've kind of getting way behind so gonna have to do stuff during the week which I have been doing but um yeah it's crazy this is the crazy feathering down homestead Okay, Jasper and Matilda, can you guys get some um, chicken food? What we're going to do is we're going to try to get them back in their own cage and shut the door. So they stop getting out into the garden. You can see our Mr. Rooster over there and, her, and his ladies. We want all them back, so get some food and we'll um, put this fence down and get them all back, eh? Okay? So we are trying to get those chickens those chickens back into this cage where they belong so they will not escape. Yep, um, yeah. Just throw some food out in there and uh, you guys might have to go and herd them a little bit. Oh, you got some eggs? Uh, give them to Matilda. Okay, Jasper, you might have to go and um, you put some more in there and then shake it and then bring them. Hey guys, heard them in. Oh, they might have found Hey guys, heard the last chickens, eh? Go quick before the rest escape. Go, go, go. And the last one is about to enter, yes! Okay, um, there's one more, there's one more chicken we've got to get and um, that's the broody. You know the broody up there? We've got to get the broody up there down here so we can actually collect barred rock eggs again. Because at the moment she just keeps sitting on them. And then they just uh, will eventually be little chicks. So do you reckon you guys can go up and get that? You reckon I can leave you with that task? And what get task? on to some other tasks. I'm um, getting the broody chicken from up in the Bard Rock. No. She's not. She's pretty nice. No. She doesn't attack. Ah, she's not nice. Yes, yeah, she's not. I reckon she's nice. No, I don't want. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. What's our second task? Bite my hand off. Okay. Well, I'll give it a go then. Oh wait. Oh no. More eggs. My eggs. Okay, minions, let's go get this broody. No, I need all the help I can get. Because you guys said she's going to bite my finger off, so I might need some first aid. Yeah. Yeah. 
So how hard can it be for four of us to get a broody chicken? Hard! Is she, is she going back in there? My phone. Okay. Here we'll try. Try if you guys uh I'll stay here. Bye. Oh you're in there, huh? Okay. Whoa. Okay, you cut out. Whoa. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so now we've got another cross and she's outside of this cage. Okay guys, we need to go catch her again. I'll shut this up. Got four eggs in here. And this is the problem, they're, uh, they're all hot, so. <laughs> so feed the chickens it is. I'm sorry Theo, they're all hot so they're yucky. Let's go catch that other chicken. We can come back later and get some eggs from these guys. Hopefully they're not all hopefully they're not all hot. We've got to catch that chicken. Oh it looks like now it's in the pig pen. Wow. Go Jasper! How did you catch him? Oh, uh, Corn Ash through the gate. Corn Ash was just like Good job, Jasper. That's some mad chicken skills there. I guess while you're here, you want to have a look at the baby pigs? Why not, eh? Okay guys, let's go uh, lock her up. Hopefully she stays there. And then the next crisis will be trying to put the egg box inside there without uh, Debs. Um, maybe Jasper will be strong enough to uh, help me or Adina. See how we go. But at least this is going to solve our chicken problem. I don't know how you guys are going to get in there and out of there yet because I've sort of just tied up the gate. So uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Bye bye, pip squeak. Hold on, we're going to turn this on the side. Jasper, come out. What do you mean we're going to turn on the side? Well, we can't fit through the door like that. I'm not Theo. I'm not. Hey, I just left on that Okay. No eggs in here? I'm pretty sure they were. Yeah, Jasper. <laughs> Jasper, inside. Come on, pick it up a bit. Move your fucking feet, baby. Pick it up, guys. Hey, Matilda and Jasper, can you pick it up? Oh, no, it's way too easy. Just pick it up and pull it a bit, because I can't get in. No, it's not. It's not. Go, all of you together. Go, yee-haw. No, this one's right. Go. Ah, go, oh, oh. No, it's gonna jump. I've got it, I've got it. I can't get in, guys, you guys are stuck. Come on, please, please. Come on. this is gonna be right. No, if you guys all go together and pull. Everyone pull on their part, go. Go, Jasper, go, go. Pull up, pull up on it, Jasper. Pull up, go, go. Yeah, almost. You almost. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. So I know you have to go. No, no. Okay, let's go. Ow! Watch out! Okay. Can you know? Well done guys, that was a bit of teamwork effort. Now we've got to sort out this gate. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of calling someone. Um, we might need some more cable ties or something. Um, this rope here guys, you reckon you guys can like do bow ties? 
because um, I ain't got time today to fix it. So this is my jury rig gate. As you see, I've like just bow tied this thing down here and I've just got that to cover the chickens from coming out there. But it definitely, like at the moment, the kids probably can't feed the chickens because they're going to open it. They'll find definitely a way to open it and then um, all these chickens are just going to come back out again. So I'm going to come down to cable ties later and make it so they can actually open and shut it properly. And it's definitely on my to-do list to do an actual proper gate system here because um, it's not good enough. Okay, our next job guys. Hiding behind the barrels, I'll see you. I'll see you. I know you guys want to do a lot more work around the place. We're going to get these ice cube containers. Here's one. I don't know where another one is. We're just going to fertilize this garden real quick. Or well, maybe just I am. <laughs> it's alright, they're hiding and having fun. Um, It's not that hard anyway, so I can do it. It's just this uh, seaweed fertilizer in here. It's like pallets. I'm just gonna feed that to the garlic. So I've got like, I don't know, there's maybe eight, 10 beds of garlic this year that I planted. And I've given them one round of the seaweed fertilizer when I planted them. I'll give her another now. Hopefully that's enough. And I'll be harvesting December or something like that. They're looking really good. Um, but yeah, more fertilizer the better, right? Very good. No, you're not just going. You're going. Well, the kids are getting uh, another two ice cream containers of the fertilizer to do these last four beds. Um, last year, these last four beds were all in garlic, elephant garlic, and um, they grew pretty good, but they were like flooded four times, so it wasn't too bad. But this, um, if you go back to another rotten episode, um, I planted uh, garlic and some of them got wet and quite rotten. Um, I think those haven't come up in this bed. Unless they're sort of, because um, they'll last to be planted, unless they've still got to come up. But, um... Yeah, I don't think they're uh, there anymore. But that's all good, we have plenty of um, garlic, so... Should be fine! So these guys are going to finish that, and then we're going to get on to some other little jobs. If you look here, it is. Oh, hello, friend. Good job, Theo. <laughs> oh, Jasper, I dropped it in the feet in the pathway. Yeah. No, don't <laughs> feed the pathway. <laughs> yeah, that's the fertilizer. But fertilizer, friend. I'm really pushing up. Because you're only halfway, man. We've got way yeah, to do. Yeah, but we're boiling. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna melt. It's freezing out here. Do we? You can do all of it. Yeah, see you on Saturday. See you to see more caterpillars and more fun next week. You see blood flies.
Hey, we're, hey, no, we're not oh finished God. yet, eh, guys? Yes, we are, bud. Okay, team. Next garden, let's go. Uh, you can almost go up. I can give you a ride up if you guys help me with this last bit. Yeah. So this is what I've been working on during the week. Um, I was struggling a little bit without this tool, the dibber, with the onions. But um, I have been doing all these paths, weeding them all during the week in the horrible weather. Um, and on the outside here, I've just got to weed this and then we're going to build kind of a raised bed on the outside with the trellis for our tomatoes and that. And I've got to weed around those apple trees, they're actually dead. Those two dwarf apple trees, which is the same, but all the water comes down the mountain, it kind of sits there. I need to build some sort of drainage, and then it should be sweet. Um, but yeah, and then I've got the barna grass on that side, I've got a weed, and the asparagus I was hoping to get to today, but if we can just get that path, I'll show you. If we can just get this path here done to the entrance. I'll be happy because that's about how much wood chip I've got left on the back of my car anyway. Then I can finally get my car up and then it'll be when the next wood chip comes. Have the same issue. So the kids are going a bit AWOL. I'm just going to have to get started with some weeding and then they can get the wood chip off the car hopefully and pour it down here. I'll let them go AWOL just for a little bit, have some fun. But um, for now I've got to get stuck into some work. Okay, that's kind of the pathway semi done, except for that asparagus, but at least I can get a path down here, get the rest of the wood chips up there. Uh, most of the kids have bailed on me, threw them in my car, or they've gone up the top, or roaming around somewhere, but it looks like I'm gonna have to get the wood chip down here. If I can give you any advice when you're weeding your garden, don't put your weeds in your pathways, because um, they will come back to life, and I'll be a mission to get out again. And that's what's happened here. We've been weeding and then just putting piles everywhere and then just rerouting in the ground. So don't do that and you'll be good. But time to get some wood chips. So the rest of the wood chip is um, put in the walkway here. I didn't quite get as much wood chip as I wanted to, but um, that's okay. I hopefully can get some more up the road, but I'll see how I go. Uh, there's a lot of work down here to do with the asparagus bed. It's a bit too much for today. These guys, uh, well, I'm buggered. It's actually like the last half of the day, so um, we're pretty much coming to an end anyway. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty much the whole perimeter now. And one of these days I've got to get this ochre patch, chop all that cover crop and uh, maybe till it up and that. I'm thinking wood chip, take out all the black mat, put wood chip in there as well, but we'll have to wait and see. For now, let's see if we can get this um, truck up the top, because it was a lot of rain yesterday, so I don't know what's going to happen. At least it's four wheel drive. Theo, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, so we got the ute up, um, now we're just going to show you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we put some stuff in the incubator. And we want to see, we want to show you what we've got from the incubator. Oh, 
So we got some bad rock checks. Dancing to the beep. You're dancing to the beep. Okay, then. He's like, I can't burn away. So I think we hatched about 17 of the chicks, is that right? 18. 18. 18 of the chicks hatched, so we I don't, can't remember how much we put in there, but 18. I'm pretty sure they're all barred rocks, but even though the barred rock is the rooster, so they could be half, half, but um, yeah, the rest of them are hiding under the, under the brooder down there. <laughs> but they're all nice and healthy. So they're about a week old. We forgot to show you guys these this last week, but um, yeah. I don't know if these guys are going to be our future layers or if they're going to be our future meat birds. No, um, no, no, no. Theo, how do you feel about I think they'll be our when they're older layers. to eat these chickens? No, no. Yeah, I don't know layers. how that's going to go down. No, no. Maybe they're going to be the layers, but we'll see. Bard rocks are a multi-purpose breed, so they're not good at one or the other, but they're good at both, so we can multi-use them. But, yeah. but for now, we've um, had enough for today, so we're going to have to get some stuff done in the week to catch up, and um, we're going to catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll catch you guys later. Look out. Matilda out. Don't forget to read the comments. Subscribe. Like, 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 and comment down below. Punch. Punch your video. Uh, okay, actually there was one other thing. Uh, they actually reminded me by their noise. We've got two lambs down here. So my sister-in-law um, got them. They're a male and a female. So they're really friendly. Um, and I think Deb's plan is to breed them. Well, she thought I was crazy when I wanted to do that ages ago, but um, we're going to sort out a bit more land to do that. The flats, maybe not have cows, have sheep, but then it floods, so who knows? We're crazy. I don't know what we're going to do, but anyway, I've really got to go. Catch you guys later. Look out.